Yo, what is up, everybody? And welcome back to another College Football 25 online game. Today, we're rolling with the South Carolina Gamecocks. As you may or may not know, South Carolina has an athletic freak on their roster that plays the wide receiver position. His name is Nick Harbour. His attributes go as follow. Acceleration, 99. Speed, 99. The craziest part, his height is 6'5". He's one of the only two 99 speed players in the entire game. Out of all the 100 plus colleges in the game, it's a 5'9 corner on some other team and 6'5 Nick Harbour that got 99 speed in the game, which is insane because he's so big. Like, is he really... Is he really that much of a freak in real life? Because, I mean, everybody's going to know his name after a week or two of playing this game. If you play a tier two team, you know, it might be South Carolina because people want to use this freak of nature, Nick Harbour, and see what he's all about. And I want to see, can you leave Nick Harbour on the island? The answer is absolutely positively not unless you want to give up a touchdown like my opponent did right here even from about 40 yards deep you think your corner can cover that isolated but that's not enough and we didn't even need that 6-5 height he also has like really good jumping as well if you do not get the top off the defense for whatever reason as we're gonna go once again nick harbour in a foot race he'll always win that battle downfield we go a little showboating just letting our opponent know how badly we beat him on our way to the end zone this is an onslaught and we're playing against bama right like you would think bama would be cooking now obviously the bama secondary is probably the weakness of their team but still it's Bama, though at the same time, my opponent is also not learning his lesson. He keeps leaving Nick Harbour one-on-one, -on -one, and now he's in a deficit where not only is he probably stuck in, he's getting taunted for it. Even the game's like, hey, bro, might want to give this one up. Let's move on to the next game. But my opponent's still going to try to let it fly on fourth down and 19, and yeah, that's definitely not going to work. So we'll try to cook a little bit with Nick Harbour before we can force the rage quit in this one as we put the jet sweep on. Now, if they're trying to make moves in the open field with this guy, he is as stiff as a board. So you're not really going to get those sweet spin moves and jukes that you can get with other players. So straight line speed. He is kind of a one-trick pony, but his one trick is good enough to where, you know, he can definitely get the job done and help you beat a team like Bama. As we, okay, maybe he does have some juke moves. Maybe I stand corrected as we're just going to punch this one in the end zone here. Go up 28-0. to Just waiting for the moment where my opponent finally decides to beg for mercy, which was apparently the opening kickoff to start the second half when my opponent finally decided to quit whatever as we uh you know hit the spin move here and then we'll move on to the next game so yeah man you know the south carolina gamecocks they're an all right team they have a couple of prospects they have my boy robbie ashford that we used during our ram series last year uh they also have jared brown a wide receiver so their wide receiver core is not just nick harbour you have jared brown as well to spread the rock around and they also have Raheem Sanders at running back. And Raheem Sanders, he's, I believe, like an 86 overall. He's pretty solid. So this Gamecocks offense in general is highly explosive. Their defense, I cannot say the same about. They're all right, but, um, you know, not on the same level. You definitely want to use the Gamecocks for their offense all around. Like I said, you probably want to use Robbie Ashford. I use Sellers in this game, mainly because I didn't want to pause the game and change the depth chart. I was just too lazy to do that. But Ashford's a more mobile quarterback, so... You know, if you want that in your bag, you can definitely go to Robbie. Third down, I don't know how we didn't get the pick on the previous play, and we got to still play defense, and not playing defense well, as Jimmy Horn Jr. is going to make this a fourth down and one instead of a fourth down and a mile after breaking off a tackle, making a move or two. Here's Shador to move the chains. So we're playing against the Buffaloes this time around. First things first, we've got to play some defense before we can put Nick Harbour on the field, and this should be a good test. We're going to go against Travis is hunter at corner and if there is a corner in this game that can potentially slow down nick harbour isolated you would think it would be travis travis has what 95 speed and as athletic as he is i'm sure he has some acrobat type abilities for making catches that could be the shutdown corner to put to the test but maybe Nick Harbour is unguardable. We'll find out. There's only one way, and we're going to let it fly offensively. But not before we give up seven to my opponent, which... I mean, it was tough. We had about four or five opportunities to get off the field, including the opening kickoff when we forced the fumble. 
it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't in the cards. So we'll just have to put up points to keep up with the Buffaloes. Here we go. Isolated. That's not Travis Hunter. But that's not a catch anyways. Harbor with the open field drop. Sellers might have put that one a bit too far ahead. Right? It wasn't the perfect ball by any means. But, hey, man. You know what they say as a wide receiver. If your hands are on it, you should be able to make the catch. And, I mean, his hands were definitely on it as he dove for that ball. And now, all of a we're facing a fourth down and seven. We got Harbor right side of the field. And we don't throw it to him, which, you know, I tried to spread the sugar, and I probably should have just force-fed our guy, all right? It's, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, you know, let's, let's try to get somebody else as a decoy, and then uh, we are now down 14 0 because of it. I thought the wheel route would go further downfield. Clearly, it did not, and, you know, the play art was kind of indicating that it would stop towards the sidelines. My uh, reading not really working out too well right now, and we are now down and this is the situation we don't really want to be in because like i said this gamecocks team we have a good offense but i don't know how many stops we can put together defensively is jared brown that other receiver that i mentioned oh let me complete the spin mover call that a balance so we do get the first down but that eventually kills the play off before we can get a bigger gain second down look who's wide open it's not harbor he's getting doubled it's jared brown for the touchdown what can brown do for you and what can nick harbor do get you wide open because everybody's so worried about him and the post just gets wide open. I would assume that was match coverage that my opponent ran because, I mean, the coverage completely broke down. The guy that was trying to follow that wide receiver just said, nah, fam, I'm good, which is definitely fine with me. So we don't get that deep bomb with Nick Harbour that we're looking for, but we'll keep working on it. And, of course, you know, we want to get everybody else involved so that one opportunity when we get our shot, we can capitalize as uh, we nearly got a user pick with a defensive lineman right there. I got stuck on him. I did my best to make a play is once again a jet sweep a broken tackle multiple broken tackles and a first down for Jimmy Horn the tackling not really the best I mean this uh this Colorado Buffaloes team they got some athletes like Horn Travis Hunter on offense that can definitely make some plays in the open field that we are definitely at a disadvantage on as we get the interception here with Williams I mean, Shador's been begging to throw a pick all game long, so I'm glad we finally capitalized here, and now we have a chance to take the lead going into the lo or go tied into the locker room, and that we will. Once again, what can Brown do for you? This is the Jared Brown show all of a sudden, and it's pretty much the same play that we ran, a little post-shot action, and the slot just gets wide open. They double-team Nick Harbour again, and as much as I'd love to force it, I mean, when a wide-open touchdown is there, we got to take it, especially while we're trailing. So we might have scored too quick. We'll see. In college football, I mean, if you score with 20 seconds to go, you might have scored too quick, right? We're having the clock stops on first downs as that is a diving catch for the first down. And you don't have to use a timeout, right? You quickly get back to the line. Shador drop back looking. Oh, man. This guy throws some risky passes. I don't know if he's confident in his passes or he's just like, this is my best option. That was his worst option, and he got away with it. He put his hands in the cookie jar, and Madden said you can have another crack at it. And he was trying to do it again. I think that would have been a pick attempt as well. That was crazy. No bad timing ball hawk or anything. We just straight up dropped the pick. Final play of the half. We snuck in Nick Harbour to try to return that punt. We could have gotten by that first wave. I think we could have been gone, but easier said than done. We did get the game tied going into the start of the second half, though, which is big as we get a nice kick return. 25, do your dance down to the 31-yard line. Yeah, you know, the fact that we tied the game up, that gives us more leeway to where we can play around a little bit, play around a lot, putting them on skates. Hunter forcing Harbor out of bounds after the nice gain on the jet sweep. Next play, wide open. It's Nick. Harbor! That was way too easy as we hit the squabble in the end zone. I don't know what kind of defense that was. It looked like a zone, but they tried to press after about five yards. I don't know. Throw that defense in the trash. It clearly did not work. It's not going to work on Nick, man. Definitely not on Nick. He's 6'5". You probably don't want to get handsy with him because once he is beating that press, he is as good as gone. I'm telling you, man. I don't know if this guy's confident in his passes or he's just brave, but it is not a, is not really paying the price for it more often than not let's just put it like that as he puts one into jimmy horn and we'll see if we can 
recreate the magic that he had in that first quarter. And it seems like he's really going the horn a lot. We're not really even seeing Travis Hunter get the ball for this guy. It's just all Jimmy Horn, which is not a problem, right? He's a pretty good receiver himself. But, you know, you would think 12 would get the ball over here and there. And um, this guy just gives the ball to whoever runs jet sweeps, which... Finally, we make an open field tackle on. We just need to make that tackle behind the line. Now it's third down and 12. Shador got it in there again. It's not a first down, but once again, it makes it a fourth down and very manageable. Up tempo, out the shotgun, running the ball. It's a first down. We nearly shut the gap with our user. Almost doesn't count, though. It's a first down and goal. Sanders with the drop back. He's got space to roam. Buying time. Open back in the end zone. It's a touchdown. Ah, oh, great patience by Shador there. I've been giving my opponent some uh, slack here, but that was a good play by him to, uh, you know, wait until the very last second. Keep your eyes downfield. He had a chance to scramble right there and maybe get a couple of yards, but he took his time and got rewarded as we try to hit another spin move on the kick return. That's not really going to fly as we go play action. All right, I see you making the adjustment. He's covering that post himself. He said, I don't know what my defenders are doing. I'll get it, so... We end up actually taking a... Oh, baby, we're going to get a touchdown again. This is going to go 94 yards. And that was Travis Hunter that got smoked on the play by, of course, Nick Harbour. His second score of the second half. He has 174 yards in the game. And after the penalty we just got for intentional grounding, we were buried way back. That was really our only avenue of getting out of the jam and Nick Harbour well he beat the jam once again he played that same defense that kind of burnt them on the previous drive where it looked like Travis Hunter came down try to get handsy and you, you don't want to play those hand games you don't want to hand check with Nick Harbour because once he gets that step he doesn't even have to be even to be leaving he just has to be in the zip code and he's gone as this is a huge third down and 24 conversion. It just feels like this guy's like a cockroach, man. We cannot kill him on the defensive side of the ball. As close as we are to getting stops, we swat the ball, we drop picks, and then he makes a play on third or fourth down, and it's still a one possession game, and we still need to get one stop at least. But even then, even if we don't get the stop, we just got to get our team on offense one more time, and I feel all right about our chances. We haven't even ran the ball, Raheem Sanders. It hasn't really mattered. We're we're getting close to the two-minute warning. One more snap, and oh no. I don't know if he tried to throw the RPO, but he did not look ready for that play. Here we go. At the two-minute warning, it's second down. Shador down low. This is Jimmy Horn working on a big game. I mean, he's got over 150 yards. He's not working on it. He just has it. Shador is down on third down. Hemingway, the Tonka truck, brings up fourth down and pretty much the game. From the Buffalo zone, 46-yard line, Shador to drop back the pockets. Great, anything open all day to throw. What's he doing? He's down, he's out, he's done. That's the ball game. Took too long to make a play and ultimately made no play except the losing play. And that's going to do it. This guy's going to rage quit after that. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today. As you see, Nick Harbour is a beast. So, you know, if you want to sneak up on your buddies and use a... You know, a tier two team, the Gamecocks, you can definitely have some fun with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more action, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.